Hey guys, Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about my 31 week pregnancy update. Yeah. This video is gonna be quick and dirty because it has been too long since I shot a video and I am past the 32 week mark now. So I need to upload my 31 week pregnancy update video because I promised you guys a video every week. Um, and I just shot a hair video today. So I feel like, you know, I look half decent. My video today was about how to wet style your hair using a brush. And I used a variety of different brushes. So it wasn't like um, an advertisement for a brush company. It's an actual video about how I feel about using a brush to wet style naturally curly hair. And my hair turned out pretty good. So I'm right excited about that. But anyway, back to the pregnancy. I am 32 weeks pregnant now, and right now I'm gonna talk about everything that happened last week. And I have a few really nice things to show you guys, um, and a few things to talk about. And so I'm really excited, again, like I said, about this video. I'm gonna start this video the same way I start every video, which is just quickly talking about the Pregnancy Plus app and what it says about the baby's development. So there is the 31 week um, picture of the baby. And here's the scale size. So he's getting big, guys. I'm so excited. It says that he's about 3.75 pounds. And then now for 32 weeks, it says he's about 4.25 pounds. So I think they grow about a half a pound a week at this point. Um, and that is very, very exciting. So for week 31, it says there isn't too much space inside your uterus now. Tell me about it. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Your baby's movements will gradually increase week by week until a time when they will plateau but not reduce. If you notice any reduction in your baby's movements, you should report it. The care you receive will depend on your stage of pregnancy. Your baby will not run out of room and should continue to move up to and during birth. The fetal position is a familiar position for him, and I have some exciting news about that that I will talk about in a minute. Um, your baby can now use all of his five senses. He is busy looking around, practicing breathing, grabbing whatever is in reach, tasting amniotic fluid and listening to the sound of both you and your partner's voice and Wilson's voice, which is adorable. So I do find, and I don't know if it's because I'm like willing it to happen, but when Wilson talks to my baby, the baby moves like crazy in my belly. It is so, so adorable. Um, it says... If you are carrying twins, there's even less space for your babies to move and they may decide to make an early appearance this month. Your baby will weigh about three and a half pounds at this point. So that's what the app says about the baby. Um, I did have an OB appointment this week, which is good because I can talk about it a little bit. The number one thing that I was happy about was that my baby is head down. So my baby's head down and I feel like that has changed my life. <laughs> my baby's are always transverse. And I think that has something to do with the shape of my uterus. And I do have a diary from when I was pregnant with Wilson. And up until this point with this baby, and up until the day before I went into labor with Will, my babies have always been like completely, completely sideways. My stomach looks wide and stretched out and sideways. And I always have a lot of pressure and I always have a really hard time breathing. And so um, as soon as Hank moved head down, I started to feel better. And I don't know if it's like a coincidence or if it's related at all, but I just feel better, my stomach doesn't feel as tight, I feel more comfortable, I can breathe better, and I just feel lately like I have a ton of energy. And I've read um, in different apps and things like that that some women at the end of their third trimester they get like this big burst of energy and I just feel really, really good lately. And so um, I'm very, very happy about that. Other than what it says on the app, like I don't really know anything that's going on with the baby, but I do know now that he is head down. And again, like I said, he just feels like he's in a much better position. I don't feel a ton of pressure down there. Like I don't feel like he's in the birth canal or anything like that, but I definitely feel like he is just lower and in a better position and that is great. And his movements have definitely increased over the last few weeks. Now I'm going to talk about my appointment with my OB and then I'm going to talk about my symptoms and I just have a couple of cute things to show you guys and then I'm going to wrap this up. So I had an appointment with my OB the other day. I see her every two weeks now um, and 
it was just a regular appointment. So I went in, she took my blood pressure. Um, guys, through this whole video, I feel like I'm gonna burp. So if I do, I'm gonna have to edit it out. But anyway, um, my heartburn is really bad. So I just constantly feel like I'm belching, which is awful. <laughs> Um, so if you see me make a weird face, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying not to on camera. But anyway, I had my appointment with my OB and she checked me. She said that I was measuring perfectly, that the baby was definitely head down and in a better position. Um, she took my blood pressure. My blood pressure was like 110 over 70, which is a really good blood pressure. Um, that's my normal blood pressure when I was pregnant with my first son. My pressure was up the whole time and so I'm very happy to have like a normal healthy blood pressure. Um, she checked the baby's heart rate and that was all good and we just had like a good chat um, and we had a few laughs and I just got to tell her basically that I was feeling better. So anyway, she told me that I had to weigh myself because she does that every appointment. And normally when she weighs me, especially a couple of weeks ago, when I'm walking over to the scale, I'm like, oh God. And I'm like stripping off my layers and I take my shoes off. Um, and a few weeks ago, I had a period of time where my dog's drinking water, if you hear like a splashy noise. Um, but a few weeks ago, I had this period of time for a couple of weeks where I was just binge eating and eating terribly and I felt like I gained a ton of weight. So when I went to see her, I was kind of like, oh God, here we go. And that week I only gained like two pounds. So anyway, this week I feel so good about myself. I have been eating a lot better. I haven't been eating any junk food. I actually feel like my belly is smaller because of the baby's change in position. I feel like my breasts are smaller. I feel like my face looks thinner. Um, I just feel better. And I felt like I was gonna get on the scale and not have gained any weight, like maybe a pound or something like that. So anyway, I'm go over, going over to the scale and I have like this big sweater on. And she's like, you're not gonna take your sweater off, kind of making fun of me. And uh, I was like, no, I don't even care. Like I, I did awesome. And I got on the scale and I gained eight pounds in a month. So, oh my God. So anyway, and that's, I took the sweater off, took my shoes on, off, sorry, and got back on and I had gained eight pounds. So we laughed about that because I was kind of all cocky going over being like, I probably only gained a pound. Like I've been doing really good, eight pounds. Um, I'm not worried about it. I still have what I would consider like a healthy weight gain for my pregnancy. And I just think things are kind of like evening out. But anyway, couldn't believe it, eight pounds. Um, so that was my appointment. I don't have any more ultrasounds or anything like that until the baby's born unless something comes up because everything looks normal. Um, so that was it about that. So symptoms, my main symptom now is that I feel better. So my main symptom is that Right now, I have more energy than I ever did in my whole pregnancy. I feel a lot better. Um, negative symptoms, my heartburn is really bad. Um, I do have days that I'm like a little bit uncomfortable walking because of my hips, but I've been going to massages um, and that seems to be helping. I do have a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of swelling in my hands and feet in the evenings, um, but nothing crazy. I just feel pretty good. Last week I talked about having this big increase in cervical mucus and that seemed to kind of go away. So that's not bad. I don't have any acne. I don't have any headaches. Um, food cravings. I'm definitely not craving any food, but I feel like I'm really thirsty all the time. So I'm drinking a ton of fluids. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to talk about this week. Now I do have one thing to show. Um, last week I showed you guys a company called Caden Shea sent me these amazing leggings. Like I'm obsessed with them. I don't have them on right now. I have pajama pants on right now with a dress. <laughs> um, but you guys can't see me from the waist down yet, so who cares? Um, but I don't have those on, but I love that company. I made a mistake in my video last week. I said that they were from Australia, and they're actually from New Zealand. So 
pregnancy brain. I don't even know why I said that, but the company is from New Zealand and I'm going to leave all of the information in the description box below and I can see myself doing like a, a promotional post for them on Instagram or something like that because I am obsessed with their clothing. I don't have enough time to talk about them in this video this week, but next week I'm probably going to show the pants again and talk about the nursing sweatshirt and all that. Caden Shay, I'll leave all their information obsessed. Okay, so this is the thing that I got this week. So I have a subscriber and she follows me for my curly hair content and then watch some of my pregnancy videos and her company that she has is called little splashes of color and this lady's name is Kathy and she was formerly um, a children's illustrator and now she does art for children's bedrooms and nurseries and she made me some amazing prints for Hank's nursery and two for Wilson's brand new bedroom. So these are going to look a lot better when I do like the nursery and toddler room tour and I show them to you on the wall. Um, but I'm just going to show them, they came in this box, I'm just going to show them to you in the mats right now because they're awesome. Um, and actually, before I show you these up close, I'm just going to insert a little video clip because I took a clip to send her kind of as a thank you of Wilson um, looking at the picture. So here's the clip. That is so nice, Will. And what's this one? It is. Can you say thank you, Kathy? Thank you, Kathy. Wilson is obsessed with monster trucks. So there's two monster trucks. Can't wait to frame them and hang them. And then for Hank's room, um, I have these two construction vehicles. I think that these are absolutely beautiful. I feel like these ones are a little bit more mature than the... Um, than the monster trucks and I'd love to put these in Wilson's room but Wilson is just so obsessed with monster trucks like it's just not gonna happen but I absolutely love these Kathy thank you so much if you guys want to check out Kathy's website she has a ton of different types of prints and she also does custom prints so if your child had like a shark theme or a mermaid theme or a certain type of theme in their room and you didn't see exactly what you wanted on her website, I know that you could message her and uh, she's able to do some custom work. So again, thank you so much. All of the information on how to purchase these items is in the description box below. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys these again hanging on the wall. I absolutely like, I'm obsessed. I love them so much. Okay guys, I have to wrap this video up. My camera battery is dying. I'm gonna show you guys my bump before I do that. I'm just gonna say, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in either my next curly hair or pregnancy update video. Um, I have a dress on and pajama pants on and my battery's gonna die so I don't have time to go change my pants. So sometimes you just get what you get and you don't get upset. Um, here's my bump. Mm -hmm.